Bohemians are based on the real lands of the Bohemian crown. In the period of so-called Hussite Wars, which was a series of religious conflicts in the years of 1419 to 1434 between the Czech peasants and Catholic Church. The reason for all the conflict was the burning of Jan Hus, who the Hussites later named themselves after. Uh, he was a Catholic priest and a teacher who criticized the Catholic Church for its greed and malpractices. He called for the church's reform and, well, that was ultimately something that would cost him his life. The Czech population did not take such action lightly and responded with the first defenestration of Prague, uh, officially starting the Hussite War. Through the years of war, the Holy Roman Emperor sent not one, but four crusades all of which were pushed back and defeated. That's where the legendary Jan Žižka came into the picture. He was a half-blind and ultimately completely blind leader of the Hussite armies, using tricks and traps to win his battles over much stronger opponents. So that's a bit of history. But how are the Bohemians in the game? Well, they belong into the group of civilizations with Eastern architecture and Orthodox churches, despite not being Orthodox at all. Quite the opposite, actually. The Bohemians are a gunpowder and monk civilization, having their game identity heavily backed by the history. Their civilization bonuses include some cheaper buildings, chemistry and hand cannoneers available in the castle age, <laughs> which is absolutely huge and suggests a very powerful castle rush into hand cannoneers. That can be so devastating if your opponent cannot damage you early. You will one-shot most of his units with just a handful of cannoneers, and it is so difficult coming back from that. Third unique bonus makes your spears deal more damage. Fervor and sanctity can be applied to villagers, making them not only 15% faster and thus more efficient with gathering resources, but also tankier and harder to kill. Combine this with the unique technology, Hussite reforms, which turns all the monastery gold cost into food, and suddenly you have a powerhouse of an economy that is also difficult to raid. The other unique technology, Wagenberg Tactics, makes gunpowder units move 15% faster. I see the usage of this technology very similar to the Mongol one, here just applying it to the Hussite wagon as well. The team bonus is just a flat out increase in market work rate, making it that more easier to transition your miners into trade. The Bohemians have two unique units. The Hussite Wagon, which is a siege unit that can act like an absolute sponge of arrows while packing an incredible punch at the same time. And the Hofnice, which is a second unique unit, or rather an upgrade only available to the Bohemians. It gives 10 health and 15 damage, making the cannon pack even bigger punch. The Bohemian tech tree is fairly open, uh, focusing on the infantry and siege while having surprisingly good archery range. Uh, with fully upgraded arbalists and skirmishers, it is an acceptable strategy to go for them, just nothing that would put them over the top. Cavalry is a complete no-go though. And as final thoughts, in team games I expect Bohemians to play out as an, an early castle rush into hand cannoneers type of civilization. Um, if you decide to go for that and your teammates can sling you, I believe you can suppress and crush anything. In 1 vs 1s though, there is no reason to rush as your trash units are exceptional and your unique technologies make sure the supply of food and monks never runs out. They are very good against archer civilizations, tanking everything with their wagons, while Magyars absolutely demolish them. And those were my thoughts. See ya!